Hello, everyone. Welcome to Financial Friday. This is episode number 16. And today we're going to be talking about relationship capacity, relationship capacity. And so last week we talked about a pain capacity and we talked about, you know, you can only build your capacity to your pain level or, you know, the stuff you can handle or what you you discipline yourself to do. So today we're going to be talking about relational ship capacity, relationship capacity. So in this particular episode here, I want to talk about putting yourself around people that can help build your capacity because we all know, or we should know, let me put it that way, we should know, all of us should know there are people in our lives and that have come into our lives that can degrade our capacity. So there's people in our lives that they're not bad people. We're not saying that. They're not, there's not, uh, I'm not talking about people that are just plain out evil. I'm talking about good people, but they are coming into our lives and they are just not building capacity, but they are shrinking our capacity. And we've all had them. We've had them in our lives. Some of us may still have them in our lives, but they've all came into our lives. And so we, we've got to be careful. We don't want to just blow every relationship, but those, there's certain people in our lives that we just can't have that type of relationship with that, uh, and I'm going to use this word, don't, don't get offended here, but we just can't have that intimate relationship, that real close, tight relationship with everybody that comes into our lives because some of them build us up, some of them build us down, and we've got to recognize which one of our relationships will help increase our capacity or the ones that will help us decrease our capacity. Just in my own life, I've had people that great great people, but I can't, when I'm on this financial goal, and I'm trying to be really careful here, but when I'm on this financial goal, I've got, I've got an agenda. I've got a focus. I'm going somewhere. We've got an end plan in mind. And so there's been people that's come across us that are not building us up. They're dragging us down. And so I'm still friends with them. It's not, it's not that I'm dumping them as friends, but I can't have them in my inner circle. Is that, is that help, everybody? I can't have them in my inner circle. I, I got to have some people in my inner circle that are on the same financial plan that I'm on that are trying to, trying to get out of debt to try to pay things off or trying to move forward in the kingdom of God financially. Those are the people I've got to have in my inner circle. Yeah, those other people, we'll have supper with them. We'll have dinner with them. We, we hang out with them. It's not that, it's just the fact they can't be in the inner circle. I, I know that's offensive to some people. I know people are like, oh, no, you got to love everybody. Yeah, I, see, it's not about love. I'm not, we're not here to say I love them or don't love them. It's not that. It's the fact that you've got to have the right relationships to build you in the correct path to, to build your capacity. Let me read you something real quick. Relationship capacity. There are people that will, that will make deposits and there are people that will make withdrawals. It's exactly what I'm talking about. You will have people in your life that are making deposits into your life. Those are the people you want around you. They're the ones helping you move to your goal. There's the one helping you expand your capacity. There's also going to be people in your lives, good people. Hear me say this, good people, and they're going to make withdrawals from you. Those people just can't be around you 24-7 constantly making withdrawals. You've got to be around the people that are making deposits into your life. One other thing here. This one's very tough. I had, I had to really read this several times, but let me read it to you and explain it. Some people are similar to scaffolding or ladders. Scaffolding or ladders, you know, those things you climb on to work. Scaffolding or ladders. They're needed. Oh, my goodness. Here we go. They're needed in the building process, but they have to be removed before the pro final product can be exposed. Think about this. When you've got a scaffolding on the side of your house and they're putting up new siding on the side of your house, that scaffolding is much needed. You've got to have that scaffolding to get up top of the roof and reach everything. You've got to have that scaffolding. But before you can reveal the finished product of your house, that scaffolding's got to be removed. It served its purpose. And that's difficult when we're talking about people and relationships. But there are people that will help us grow in our initial relationship, but then they have to move on and go help somebody else, and we have to remove them out of our lives so then we can move on to somebody else. And then by the end time when we're ready to show our finished product, some of those people that helped us on our journey have been removed. And this is a tough one, but I'm just telling you that they, they got to a point where they reached their capacity – to where they can't help us anymore. I know we're talking about people, and so this is tough. 
they've come to a point where they've taught us their entire capacity and they can't teach us anymore. So therefore, they cannot deposit any more into us. They can only withdraw at this point. And so they're still our friends. They're still people we want to hang out with. They're still people we love dearly. We cherish them. But when we're talking about building capacity, financial capacity in the kingdom of God, they are not making deposits. They're making withdrawals. One last thought. People will sometimes only see you from where you were, not where you are currently. Those people that I'm talking about, sometimes they can only see you where you were and not where you are now. So some of those people that are making withdrawals and are not building your capacity, some of those ladders and scaffolding people, they only see you back in your initial state when you were in poverty and you had a small capacity. And as you grow in the kingdom of God and you expand your capacity and you grow in the kingdom financially and you become more successful, they still see you in that poverty mentality instead of the blessed, redeemed, thriving kingdom of God capacity. I know this was a tough one today. Relationships are always tough to talk about. But if you're building your capacity in the kingdom of God, you've got to understand these concepts that not everyone can be in your relationship circle, especially your inner circle. Doesn't mean they can't be acquaintances. Doesn't mean they can't be good friends that you hang out with from time to time. It doesn't mean that you don't love them. It's not about that. It's about the fact that they can't deposit any more into your journey. They're only doing a withdrawal. Hey, thanks for watching. Uh, this was Financial Friday number 16. Please like and share the uh, YouTube video. And if you would, hit the subscribe button so there as we uh, have videos each week, you'll get notified. Be sure and subscribe to the Life Changer Church uh, YouTube page. You can also find these videos on Facebook as well at Life Changer Church Clamore. Please uh, share these with your friends. We enjoy you watching. Have a good day and enjoy the rest of your week.